This is a very rudimentary model of a telegraph sounder, which we made just to illustrate how signals, messages were sent by Morse code, which is a system of dots and dashes that encodes the letters of the alphabet. The uh, sounder in this case has an electromagnet, has an armature. This is just cut from tin plate from an old can. It's, it's attracted by the magnet every now and then. And then another important feature is the stop up on top, which limits the travel of the armature. Plays in a very, very important role, as you'll see. So when the magnet is energized, the armature is pushed down, or pulled down, and contacts the core of the electromagnet, making a sound, a click. When the magnet is de-energized, the armature springs up, hits this stop, and makes a slightly different sound, which telegraph operators used to refer to as a clack. So as the sounder operates, the magnet being the electromagnet being energized and de-energized, you hear a series of clicks and clacks, click, clack, click, clack. And those clicks and clacks distinguish between dots and dashes. Here's the sounder being operated electrically. You can hear the click and the clack. So this would be a dot. And here's some dashes. Some dots. Dashes. And that's how we distinguish the Morse code from the sounds of the telegraph. Here is the sounder sending out an SOS signal. Three dots then followed by three dashes and finishing with three dots. Here's the sounder being operated by a small circuit here, the heart of which is a pickaxe microcontroller. It's programmed to send the SOS signal to the sounder. The SOS is um, Three dots, followed by three dashes, followed by three dots for the letters S, O, and S. An additional feature of the circuit are these two LEDs, a yellow and a red. The yellow is hooked across the coil in parallel so that it, when the coil is energized it lights up, whereas the red is hooked the opposite way across the coil, so when the coil is de-energized it lights up. So the yellow corresponds to a click, and the red corresponds to a clack. So even if you couldn't hear the clicks and clacks of the armature, you could tell a dot from a dash just by watching the lights. A dot would be a yellow followed by a red very closely, whereas a dash would be a yellow with a longer interval of time before the red lights up. Watch. Here is the sounder completely taken apart, showing all the components. And here she is all put back together again.